This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Winterboro School. Congratulations, Justice Garrett from Winterboro High School. Good morning, Justice. How good morning. are you today? Good. What about yourself? I'm good. Thanks for coming this morning. And uh, man, there's a lot to talk about this morning. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Justice Garrett, and I go to Winterboro High School. I'm a senior this year, and I'm I'm very, very active in multiple and multiple activities such as football, basketball, track and field, FBLA, student leadership team, and senior beta club. Have you been in the one of our system since uh, you're a little guy? Yes, sir. Since okay. fifth grade. Oh, wow. I know that's got to be a special place to you. Yes, sir. It really is. You know, when you ride by the school, you see the, the, the block walls and stuff like that, and you don't see many schools built like that. <laughs> no, sir. Well, one of us... Just a small, small little community right around the corner in the middle of Alpine, and we're real big on on that one one on one connection with our teachers. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an advantage that we have, so we can get that upper level education and have that relationship with our teachers. How do you? I mean, you're you're on the AB honor roll, uh, AB honor student. Uh, you're you're really a part of a lot of happenings, as you said earlier. How do you balance that with your sporting activities? I mean, you have to just find time and whatever free time you have. Like, we have this eighth and ninth period, and that's just like free time that we have throughout the day. And you have to use that time wisely to whatever work you have to get done. And also, like whatever time you have at home, you have to use that precisely. And, and, and you uh, could use you could use those times to uh, visit with your friends yes, or, or do other things. But you chosen to make sure that your education comes first. Yes, sir. And to be honest, that time can that time to have fun with your friends that can come on the weekends. Mm -hmm. But throughout the throughout the the week, Monday through Friday, you have to have that that time schedule to be dedicated to your work. You're part of the student leadership team and have been since your freshman year. Yes, Talk sir. about the importance of that. Well, the importance of being on the student leadership team, you have to have leadership for one, but I believe that that, le that helps you and better prepares you for the real world and the business world to become future biz business leaders. And for me, I, I want to be a businessman when I grow up, so you have to have that, that leadership skill to work with others. Now, but you're a part of the church media team yes, sir. at your local church. Where do you go to church? And, and uh, talk about that experience, too. I go to New Maryland Missionary Baptist Church in Alpine. And basically, it's a great experience to be able to work in the media center because you interact with different different technology type things. And we also make CDs for the service. So then that's an, another big deal. But it's actually a great experience to be able to Justice Garrett, a senior at uh, one of our high school, and he excels uh, in a uh, number of sports. As a matter of fact, three, uh, including uh, he's a senior on the Winterboro Bulldog football team and uh, homecoming. Uh, well, actually, was it? Is this? Is this yeah, week? yes, sir. Uh, uh, TC this past weekend, and y'all beat TC again. Yes, sir. That was a, a wonderful experience. It's been six years since we actually beat them in football, mm -hmm. and. We just made our coach proud, and we're, we plan on making him even more proud by going to the playoffs. And uh, you play several positions, and what are they? I play right guard, defensive end, and linebacker. And I, I, if God allows me to to pursue football in, in college, then I will. But I believe my passion is going to college for architecture. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm just thinking about the, the architect look <clears throat> from the outside, looking at the Winterboro School, you know, uh, that's got to be a dream come <laughs> true for you to be become an architect. Yes, uh, you play varsity basketball as well. Yes, sir. I play power forward and, and center at basketball, and we're a 1A, so you have to make do with you what you have. But I believe I'm a, a huge asset to my team because I'm one of the top players for – um, de defensive wise, I'm not really that good at offense, but I can contribute a lot on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, you play three sports. Which is your favorite? Uh, football is my favorite. Yes, sir. My coach, he he's really enthused in trying to keep us on the right track and on the field and in our books. Do you uh, learn life's lessons on the football field that are the classroom that you can bring to one or the other? Yes, sir. 
My coach, he, he always talks about adversity, and we have to outlive adversity even in the real life, dealing with losses, dealing with political aspects of that. But adversity is going to be everywhere in your life, so you just, you just have to know how to deal with it. We're talking with Justice Garrett. He's a senior at Winterboro High School, and uh, we touched on your future just a little bit. You've uh, uh, been kind of a traveler, too, haven't you? Yes, sir. I've been, I, I wouldn't say all, of, all around the world, but most of the, most of the places around the South and, and on the East. But, I mean, it's a great experience. And I know when, when you're an architect, you're going to travel a lot. So, I mean, this is going to be a, a wonderful experience. Is that just on vacations or is well, that a- Not on vacations. I've taken trips from, for the school, like different conventions and things mm-hmm. like that. We actually recently went to a, a student leadership um, convention in um, Birmingham recently, and that was a real, real nice, nice experience. You say that uh, football is your passion, but architecture is your legacy. Yes, Becoming sir. an architect will be a beneficial factor in your life. Uh, how did you get started with the thought of becoming an architect? Well, as I was a little kid, I used to draw and used to be fond of the different aspects of, of buildings and the structures on how they're built up. You remember when you was a little guy? <laughs> yes, you sir. first started that? Yes, sir. <laughs> I've sort of, I've sort of fell back on that, but I'm trying to get my skills back. And I just, what I really want, I want to create my own business and I want to give back to my community. So when I create my own business, I'm going to, I plan on creating homes for the less fortunate or the people who maybe can't, can't, um, uh, they can't come up with the, the type of money mm-hmm. for to obviously to you have a heart for your community yes sir I do I love my community and, and the people in it and I but I think I have to dedicate my most of my love to my mom because she's she's just always there for me she does whatever she can for me and she's she's a single mom at that so that's a real dedication that strives me to work extra hard yeah do you have brothers and sisters I do on my dad's side, I have three, actually three brothers, and but two lives with him. And I think the main thing in my life is to be their protector, and I have to, I have to be that leader for them because mm-hmm. they look up to me, and no matter what, no matter what I do, so I just have to do right by them and do right by my father. Obviously, your mom is very special to you. Yes, sir. She really is. She's the love of my life. I, I can, I don't, I don't can see my life without her. Yeah. Justice Garrett, our star student of the month. He's a senior at Winterboro. And we get back to your football a little bit. Uh, you guys doing pretty good. What, 5-1? Yes, and 5-1, and one, yes, sir. We plan on going to the playoffs, like I said. And our coach, he's, he's very dedicated to us. He, he even gets overly excited whenever it comes to pep rallies. But he, he has that, that heart and love for the game and for us as well. Now, your principal... I saw her kind of dressed in an opponent's shirt the other day. What's that about? Well, we had this kind of this kind of competition between TC and, and Winterboro where we had a food drive and and whoever whoever um, collected the most food, mm-hmm. then the other team the other team's principal had to wear their school spirits t shirt and we lost in that. Well they were both winners though. Yes, sir. You know, yes, everybody sir. wins when you're collecting food for the less fortunate and uh, the uh, the hungry people, that's for sure. <laughs> and I've been hungry my life, so I know all about that. You yes, can't sir. tell it by looking at me now. No, no, but, no, no. Uh, Justice Garrett, our guest, he's a star student of the month from uh, Winterboro High School. Who, who is uh, maybe one or two people that has played a role in your life and uh, r- really a uh, role model for you? Well, for one, like I said, my mom, and I have to say my principal as well because she just like she was my teacher and my math teacher in seventh grade, and now she's my principal. But she's just always been there for me, and whatever I need, I need it done. She was there for me, and also I, I um I do the the morning announcements, and whenever I'm having a bad day, she's always up there to just bring that that extra umph and that that's bring put a smile on my face. Well, you know what, Justice. 
there are bad days in life, but I, I got a feeling that, that you'll continue to overcome any bad day that you face. Yes, and and uh, a great interview this morning. You know, sometimes you, you, you kind of uh, have to get a feel of the guest, but uh, uh, this is not the first time that he's talked to media, obviously, or our interviews, because he does real well at it. Justice, we appreciate you being with us this morning. No problem. And continued success, and good luck with the remaining football season, and we'll see you in the playoffs down the line. Yes, sir. Thanks okay. for having me. Justice Garrett, a senior at Winterboro High School, our Star Student of the Month. We've got more Daybreak just ahead. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by TV47. Tune in to Daybreak weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month.